we're gonna find the average value of the function. Average value of a function, what's that? Average value of a function is, this is worth writing in green, average value of a function. This is a y value. We call it f of c, whatever c may happen to be. So there's gonna be some x input that gives us a y value. A value of a function is a y value. So find the y value on this interval from negative four to negative two and find that value of c that satisfies the mean value theorem for integrals. The mean value theorem for integrals and the average value of a function are basically the same thing, just rearranged, okay? The mean value theorem says these two areas are equal. I could flatten this out, spread some things. We have a rectangle. And then I can simply just solve for that height. There we go, average value. Now, you know, let's keep reading. So I want to shade a little bit uh, from negative four to negative two. So shading with my pencil, shading with my pencil. I'm gonna shade with my pencil, shading with my pencil. I'm shading with my pencil, shading, shading. I'm shading with my pencil. Sorry, I'm having too much fun wrapping to stop coloring. Shading with my pencil. And then I missed a spot. So what I wanna do <laughs> is continue wrapping. What I wanna do is find the average value of C. So just as much undercounted as there was overcounted. So let's be real honest. The average value is not here. The average value is not here. The average value is somewhere in between. And I, I don't know where it is. So maybe, maybe here. And then all this extra, like if I drew the line right here, all this extra would fill in all that. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So let me erase all the superfluous stuff and I don't even know where it is. So let's just erase that line as well. We don't know what it is. So we're gonna use, well, this formula and I'll use uh, red. Nah, a little too bold, let's use this. Um, F of C equals, I like to write the formula over and over and over so I don't forget it. Interval from A to B, F of X, dx, and so f of c equals uh, 1 over, all right, b minus a, well, this is a, that's b, so negative 2 minus negative 4, so we'll call, go ahead and call it 1 half, interval from negative 4 to negative 2, f of x is 4 over x squared, so 4 over x squared, dx, and we're going to do this one by hand, it won't kill us, so 1 half. The integral from negative four to negative two, we're gonna treat it like four x to the negative two dx. That's what we're dealing with. Let's add one to the exponent. So bringing the work over here. Add one to the exponent, four divided by negative one is negative four. We're gonna take this from negative four to negative two. <gasps> Don't forget your one half. So what we really have is one half of whoop, negative four over negative two, because it's to the negative one, so negative two, minus negative four over negative four. And that is going to give me one half of two minus one, which gives me one half. Okay, the average value is one half. Just, just to be clear to whomever might be grading my paper later, I would say that f c equals one half. Okay, great, done, done. Now, I kind of had that, but it was this big stream of consciousness, so I find it a little more concise there. So we have found the average value of the function, it is a half, which really means that I can now draw a line. Where? At y equals one half. So this, is the average value of that function on that interval, meaning we have just as much area over the line as we have that we didn't count under the line. It all equals out. And we could take that and smush it down into that little rectangle right there. So here's what we're gonna keep doing. Find the value of C that satisfies the mean value of theorem for integrals. I'm running out of room here. I'm gonna squeeze it under the graph so my work comes over here. And we'll switch colors, we'll go uh, green. Hardest decision about this is deciding what color to write with. So we're going to find out what C is. Now, C is here. It's where this line meets this curve, and you could probably guess about where it is, and I might have drawn it just a little bit off, but 
but it's here-ish, wherever that is. It might be negative three if I drew it off. Maybe it's about there. So let's find out. It is where one half, this is one half, equals the function itself. And that is the function itself. So four over x squared. This is going to help me find it. And I just accidentally made a slight mistake. Technically, it's C. If you want to get really picky about it, it's, it's actually, we're looking for the C value, not the X value. Now, C is a specific X value, but we want to call it C. So if you're going to put X squared, then technically you're not finding what you need to find. You are, but you're not. So one times C squared, C squared, that's eight. So C equals the square root of eight. We're adults here, let's treat it like that. Now, I would love to be like, yay, we found it. <laughs> no. Two times the square root of two is over here. Technically, we're on the negative side, right? So we're gonna call it negative. Normally, we get the option of plus or minus, but we're not playing with the positives right now. We're on the negative interval. So we now found the C value, negative two square root of two. If you really wanna know where that is, if you're super curious, two times the square root of two, square root of eight, is 2.8-ish. So at negative 2.8-ish, dot, 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 this, is negative two squared of two, and that is my C value.